almost done. We're almost done with the body work on the GTO here. Um, this is my first time doing any kind of body work ever. Um, so I follow directions very, very strategically. Um, obviously I made, I made some mistakes, not obviously, but I made some mistakes, but the cool thing about body work is you could always go back over it and fix your mistakes. It's really only done when you say it's done. So with that being said, my first set of clear on this didn't come off come up out so well so what I did was I did pretty much when I did the supercharger I I made some mistakes cutting the hood so I filled the hood um, with some fiberglass filler um, we sanded that I filled it again with some pinhole sealer and uh, sanded that again um, granted I didn't want to go crazy with this thing because the car is going to get a wrap um, one of the sprayable vinyls and I just wanted to get some sort of paint and clear on it And then I would like to do the wrap next. It is not going to be black for a long time uh, I can't I can't wait because it's been black the whole time and I absolutely love the black But the problem with black is you see all the blemishes I have to clean it and wash it all the time and People around here just don't care about cars. So um, I got a couple dings in the car just from driving it to the store or whatever. At least this will be somewhat cleaner. I'll have some sort of protectant over the paint and uh, yeah, and it'll be a different color. So hopefully, hopefully it comes out really well. I'm in the middle of wet sanding. We're going to do a 320 over it, 320, 400, 1000, and then a 1500. We're going to re-clear it and then once it's dry, then I am going to sand buff it one more time and we'll be done. If you're wondering why I did not have a track day today, it is because I have been working on this thing, I've been making large life decisions, and we got to make moves, guys. So I've taken forever to get this thing done and um, made many mistakes, fixed many mistakes, and still learning. It's still not perfect. I use a little bit too much metallic, and yeah. But for my very first paint job ever, and it's not too bad. Um, I got a lot of the orange peel out. Uh, I was having issues with the clear coat bubbling, but we got that all under wrap. I know, I know, I know. I haven't posted a video in a week. Um, I said I was going to start vlogging more. And what happens? Life happens. I ended up working a couple jobs. Um, we built a couple decks. We're doing a new fence. We're re like we took out a garage. We added a bigger 16 foot door compared to the eight foot door that was there before. And I've been working on the body of the GTO a bunch. Um, so that is why I have not posted a video. I don't want to give you the same content over and over and over. First ever body work paint job done to the GTO by myself and I'm pretty hype on it. It came out pretty decent. Um, there's a lot of areas where I can improve. There's a lot of areas that I did all right. Um, I'm not gonna say I'm good, um, but I'm not gonna say I'm bad either. So pretty hype on how it came out just because I did this all with over-the-counter stuff. Fiberglass Bondo, uh, some welding on the hood and on the fender. Pretty much um, dupli-color paint, dupli-color clear coat. Now let me give you a little update on what's going to happen next week. Next week I am going to be in Las Vegas for two days and then I'll be in California, which I have some cool stuff for California. Also, if you guys would like to meet up, depending on my schedule, definitely hit me up on Instagram. I'd love to see your builds, possibly do a couple clips with you guys. Let me know. Um, but we'll be in Vegas as of Friday night, I'll be there Saturday, Sunday, but then we're driving to California from there. Some paid off, these niggas play.
bad, not bad at all. Um, still a lot to do to the car. Uh, so the only thing I have not done motor-wise is I need to change out the water, well, the coolant in the heat exchanger and add water. And then I think I'm gonna do water wetter as well. And when I get back, I'm gonna do the ice tank in the rear. So a ton for the GTO. Sorry I didn't film a lot of the process of me working on the GTO. It was many, many hours. I just kind of just got to it more than film. So it is what it is. You guys kind of get to just see the finished product. But yeah, most likely I can't wait till I get back. Um, car's going to get wrapped. We're going to do the ice tank. We're going to go back to the track and we're going to send it again and see how she does. For right now, we're just trying to get her cleaned up before this trip, so then she's nice and pretty when I come back, and I don't have to worry about any of that. All right, the next phase of the night is, um, since I got the new tires on the BMW and put the 17s back on, the rear is way too low, so every time I hit a bump, I scrape a little bit, so I need to raise it up. Also, I think my diff mount is loose, so I gotta tighten up the diff mount and make this thing a little bit more comfortable. But other than that, the GMW over here, Helga over here is running great. And I'm really hype on, on the reliability. I've literally driven it every day for the last two weeks and back and forth downtown Denver, which is like, which is like a good 50 minute drive each way from where I live. So um, she's doing good. Uh, and then also with the money I'm saving on the new insurance, that's going to allow me to put more back into either or car. So I'm super, super excited about everything that's going on. 